Today we celebrate St. Elizabeth of the Trinity. In her childhood, Elizabeth was a brilliant pianist and a very good student. She would have been a most delightful child were not for her stubbornness, noisy nature, and fiery temper. But she found the strength to conquer all of this after receiving her first communion. She then opened up to an interior prayer life and at 14 felt drawn to choose Christ as her spouse and made a private vow of virginity. She accepted her mother's wishes to wait until she was 21 before entering the convent. She enjoyed sewing, beautiful clothes, and wore the latest hairstyles. She made many trips with her sister and mother and relished the beauty of nature. She visited the sick, sang in the choir, and taught religion to children who worked in factories. Elizabeth's mother sent her to parties in hopes that these might distract her and arrange for suitors to pursue her. But she could not resist her daughter's strong will and allowed Elizabeth to enter the Dijon Carmel in 1901. She took the name Elizabeth of the Trinity for the focus of her life became her immersion in the Godhead and the Trinity's immersion in her. Elizabeth delighted the other sisters in the cloister with her simple and joyful service. However, in 1903, she contracted Addison's disease. She suffered intensely and joyfully until she died in 1906 at only 26 years old. She was canonized by Pope Francis on October 2016.